on the last day of summer, 10 hours before fall, my grandfather took me out of the wall. For a while we stood silent and finally said with a very sad shake of his very old head. As you know, on this side of the wall, we are Ukes. On the far other side of this wall live the Zooks. And the things that you've heard about Zooks are all true. That terribly horrible thing that they do. And in every Zook house, and in every Zook town, every Zook eats his bread <laughs> with the butter, side down. We yukes, when we eat, when we breakfast or sup, we spread our bread right with the butter side up. Because, of course, you remember our bread spreading rule that you learned as a lad back in bread spreading school. On my honor as a yuke youth, I do solemnly swear to spread up on top here and never down there. On my honor as, as a yuke youth, I do solemnly swear to spread up on top here and never down there. That's the true, honest way. And all honest folks know that you can't trust a zook who spreads bread down below. Every zook must be watched. He has kinks in his soul. That's why, as a young man, I made watching my goal. Watching zooks for the zook watching border patrol. With a song in my heart and a spring in my knee, with a glint in my eye and a hop to three, I strided with pride along that wall, and I watched those zookers, one and all. And if they got fresh, I just gave them a twitch with my tough, tufted, prickly snickberry switch. For a while, that worked fine. All the zooks stayed away, and our country was safe. Then, one terrible day, a very rude zook by the name of Anich snuck up and slingshotted my snickberry switch. <laughs> well, outside, back aside, down. <laughs> Dirty upside down butterers. They can't do that to us. Why, I never saw anything so aggressively affrontable. It's worse than that. It's acrimonious. Oh, Zooks, they're impossible. And they get impossibler and impossibler and impossible every day. That's me. They get too big with their britches. With a broken off switch, with my head hung in shame. To the chief Yukuru in great sorrow I came. But our leader just smiled. He said, dear boy. You're not to blame. You simply have suffered a minor defeat. Cause your snickberry switch is a bit obsolete. Their slingshots more modern. What we need to get is a weapon that's even more modern yet. So I've ordered the boys in the back room to figure how to build you some such super booper sling jigger.
With my triple sling jigger, I sure felt much bigger. I march to the wall with my triple sling jigger. I march to the wall with great vim and great vigor. Right up to Van Itch with my hand on the trigger. I'll have no more nonsense, I said with a frown. From Zooks who eat bread with the butter side down. Van Itch looked quite sickly. He ran off quite quickly. I'm unhappy to say he came back the next day. Shoot if you must with your triple sling jigger. <laughs> but I also now have my hand on a trigger. My defensive weapon, the jigger rock snatch em. We'll fling em right back just as fast as we catch em. We'll take no more nonsense. We'll take no more gup from you yukes who eat bread with the butter side up. Stymied. Thwarted. Mission aborted. I have failed, sir, I sobbed as I made my report to the Chief Yukaru in the headquarters fort. <clears throat> Not at all, my dear boy. Oh, you did fine, my dear boy. But a slingshot, oh, dear me, is an old-fashioned toy. All we need is a, a more modern kind of a gun. My boys in the back room have already begun to think up a walloping whizzinger of one. They thought up a great one. They certainly did. They thought up a gun called the Kickapoo Kid, which they loaded with powerful poor do powder and ax eggs and bees legs and dried fried clam chowder. And they carefully trained a real smart dog named Daniel to serve as our country's first gun-toting spaniel. Then Daniel, the Kickapoo Spaniel, and I marched back toward the wall with our heads held up high. It's time that we bop them. Those monsters that dwell on the other side of the wall. They're spooky and freaky. They're and sneaky. They're rude and they're cruel. They're frightfully lewd. On the other side of the wall. It's time that we bash them. We do that. They're ugly and natural. I'm Captain Arnold. They're cool. weird, they're suspicious. They're noxious and treacherous. They're rotten, malicious. They're goose and ferocious. Repugnant, repulsive they are. We're refined. They're cruel and nutty. None of them are. Huh? All the little things that they do. The little thoughts they think. I never remember what I hear today. Stinky. On the other, other, other side, other side, other side, that other side of the wall. Ready? Ready? Aim! Aim! <laughs> Shoot if you must with your wee tiny shooter. But the boys in my back room have rendered it neuter with this eight nozzled elephant toted boom blitz. It shoots high explosive sour cherry stone pits and will put your dumb kickapoo kid on the fritz. Poor Daniel and I were scared out of our wits. <laughs> Once again by the Zooks, I was bested and beat. Once again, I limped home from the wall in defeat. I was losing my gumption, losing my will, when the right side up song girls marched over the hill. Never give up, never tremble or flutter. Never sad, never dread, never stumble or stutter. Believe in yourself and the bread that you butter. Have faith in your butter. Be steadfast and 
forget what has happened, my boy. We oh, you voted to make you a general. You've been promoted. Your pretty new uniform's ready. Get in it. And next time, when you go out to battle, you'll win it. The boys in the back room have figured out how. Just wait till you see what they've puttered up now. To clobber those zooks in their land of bad butter, we have built it a thing called the Utterly Sputter. It's a plane that's so modern and frightfully new, even we don't quite know all the things it can do. But the main thing it does is to sprinkle blue goo all over the zooks. <laughs> Happy trip to Lou. <laughs> How do you like my plane? Forget it, old fellow. You are stymied again. flight that you flew. And the chief Yukaroo? Well, he's looking for you.
most mighty weapon. You take a mess of Mugahu and you twaddle it. And you waddle it a bit. That's what you do. Now this sly, unstable substance, the grum deep beneath the land, contains primeval powers that we scarcely understand. And when it starts to blip and bubble, you compress it in the scrubs. That precipitates the plugins and activates the glocks. And then you squeeze it till it's squeezing, then you squeeze it even tighter. Cause the tighter that it's squeezing makes its mighty might more mighter. And it's just a bloody miracle you've got when you are through. You got a little itsy bitsy big boy, Boomeroo. That lovely throbbing, clobbing gumdrop that you're holding in your hand will blow those blasted zoops away to never, never land. <laughs> You just run to the wall like a nice little man. Uh, drop this bomb on the Zooks just as fast as you can. I have ordered all Yooks to stay safe underground while the bitsy big boy Boomeroo is around. Father, fill me, he grabbed me, he said. You should be down that hole, and you're up here instead. But perhaps this is all for the better somehow. You will see me make history, right here and right now. You will see your old gramp put an end to them all, put an end to all those dukes who live over the wall, put an end to the every last village and town of those fiends who eat bread with the butter side down. And I, my dear chap, have a message for you. Namely, I also have a big boy boomeroo. And it's my firm intention, since I have the means, to blast every uke into small smithereens. Grandpa, be careful. Hey, easy. Oh, gee. Who's going to drop it? Will you or will he? What? What? Be patient. We'll see. We will see. <laughs> 